in this video, I'm going to show you how to catch, store, and transport skipjack herring. Now first, what is skipjack herring? They are the absolute best catfish and striper bait. I'm going to focus on the catfishing side of this bait because the striper world is a completely different world when it comes to skipjack herring. Now first, you actually have to locate them. And locating skipjacks can be difficult. Skipjacks move all the time, so it's best to find a friend that's willing to tell you where skipjacks are. Now, sometimes it can be hard to find someone that's willing to tell you where the fish are because if one person tells online where the skipjacks are, there's going to be 40 people fishing that spot. So it's real secretive to where skipjacks are at any given time. I will tell you that in the fall and in the spring, generally, they go up rivers. In the spring, it's for spawning. And in the fall, it might actually be for spawning as well. And they're following thread fins or whatever small bait fish is in the waterway where they are. They will also get back into creeks and bays. Like right now, we're in a big like bay and creek area. And they are really sparse right now. It's kind of difficult to catch them. But there's plenty of bait back here, so we should be able to catch some skipjacks. And I got my buddy Clint on the front of the boat, and he right now has the most skipjacks caught. Hopefully I'll be able to catch one to show you guys. Now what I'm using are what's called marabou jigs. These are crappie jigs, just two tied up in a line. And I've literally used a polymer knot, and then on the tag end, I went down to the second jig and did another polymer knot. Really quick and simple rigging. And you can use floral carbon, you can use monofilament, as long as it's greater than like 12 pounds as the leader line. And then my main line is 15 pound braid, just for castability, because these are really hard to cast. See how far I can get with these. It's not too bad. When you're reeling them in, you kind of want to reel a little bit slow and kind of give it a little jig, like what I'm doing right here. And I keep my rod low, down low. And when you have a fish, you want to keep the rod high. If the fish is swimming left, you want to be on the right side. If they're swimming right, you want to be on the left side, up high. The skipjacks will jump out of the water and possibly get off your hook. I'll give you guys a closer look of the baits I'm using. And I found chartreuse and white are the two best colors to use. Now let's see if I can actually catch a skipjack. Oh, hey. Wow, that one's fast. There we go. Skipjack. It's a smaller one, but I will take it and I will use it. Now that I've caught a skipjack, I'm going to show you how to transport it. It's best to put this in a cooler that's like this. Ice. Salt. Water. Maybe a bit too much water. Yes, I think we put a little bit too much water in here. However, it is still super cold to where it freezes them almost instantly, making for better bait to store. So I would suggest a lot more ice than what we used. And I use my Walmart Lifetime cooler instead of my Good Orion cooler because this is salt and I don't want it to ruin my good cooler. All right, before I go to the next step, let's see if Clint can catch a skipjack on camera for us. Now, what are you using? Minnow grubs. Yep, this is another way to catch them is just have a jig head and have whatever kind of plastic on there. A lot of different plastics work. Really, wait. 
I got a tree. <laughs> That's what happens when you're uh, fishing around wood. And I'm letting him control the trolling motor. We'll just go over there, get to the other side of the tree. It might actually pop out. Well, as you can see, even when you know kind of where they are, sometimes skipjacks are still hard to catch. It's just the, the nature of the fish. Sometimes you can catch 200 of them, and sometimes you only catch five. But I am trying to restock my cooler, and we might take some fishing later. I don't, I don't know yet. Oh, well, <laughs> he caught one. Nope, ah, and it got off. I think that was a bass. Oh, a bass? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. They do get off a lot, too. All right, the next step is long-term storage, and I'm going to do that at the garage. All right, the next step is to vacuum seal the skipjack. That requires a vacuum sealer and vacuum sealing bags. And I probably should plug this up to electricity. I'm going to seal my first bag. All right, that will make this kind of a bag. Now I need scissors. Let's get one here. Look at it. It's pretty big. So it's gonna go to right about there. All right. Let's say right about here. They include little lines so you can cut this kind of straight. need better scissors. Wow, these scissors are horrible. These are a little bit better, even if they're broken. Two giant skipjacks. All right, put the plastic down in there so it can suck the air out. Make sure there's nothing in the way of the heat bar. There we go. Mmm. A lot of grossness in there. Skipjack's ready for the freezer. I've actually caught flathead catfish with my sealed bait when I've done everything properly. I will admit I haven't done everything properly on these two. I put an iCard above to the flathead video of the flathead caught on frozen skipjack. Now I'm going to put this in my freezer. These guys barely fit into my freezer. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and maybe you have learned something new. Skipjack is one of the easiest baits to keep in your freezer pretty much forever. I've caught big blues on freezer burn skipjack before. And I will say a good second place is bluegill. You can freeze bluegill as well. I remember fishing with my buddy Ty once and we caught a 40 pound blue on a popsicle of a bluegill. It was completely frozen. We put it in the water, which was like 38 degree water and literally a couple of minutes later a 40 pound blue grabbed it So it is possible to get big fish on frozen bait now as always I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video I really really appreciate it and if you really like these how-to videos Please hit that thumbs up to show YouTube that I need to do more videos like this 
And feel free to leave feedback if you want me to do something else similar. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time.